what are the causes and risk factors of Alzheimer's disease? While scientists aren't 100% certain what specifically causes Alzheimer's disease, we are aware of several risk factors that can increase our chances of getting Alzheimer's disease. For example, these risk factors come in two categories. One are non-modifiable risk factors. These are things we can't change, like our age and our genetics. However, there's another category called modifiable risk factors. These are things we can change, like controlling our blood pressure, eating a specific type of brain healthy diet, and physical exercise on a regular basis. Now, it's important to understand that while we don't yet have the exact perfect answers about why people develop Alzheimer's, that reason may actually lie in different people, maybe on different roads to Alzheimer's disease. We're learning a ton about this in science. And for example, over the last five to 10 years, we've learned that even men and women may be on somewhat different roads to Alzheimer's disease. Also, age is by far the number one risk factor for Alzheimer's. The higher the age goes, the higher the risk of Alzheimer's disease. Genetics is also something that has received a lot of interest. While if a person has several family members with Alzheimer's disease, dementia, they may certainly be at higher risk. It certainly does not mean that that person will definitively get Alzheimer's disease. There are specific genes and including specific tests that people can order commercially throughout the world. One of the most common genes that you may be aware of is something called the ApoE4 variant. ApoE is a gene. You get one from mom and one from dad, either a two, a three, or four from mom, and a two, a three, or four from dad. If you get at least one copy of that ApoE4 variant, that person may be at increased risk of Alzheimer's disease, but that's okay. Just having that variant doesn't definitively mean that a person will get the disease. And that's why the causes of Alzheimer's disease are quite confusing. When it comes to other modifiable risk factors, there are many. We talked earlier briefly about physical exercise, we also talked about brain healthy nutrition, like the Mediterranean style diet. But there are very many other things like controlling blood pressure, controlling cholesterol, and controlling a person's blood sugar or diabetes. Further, stress can absolutely increase the risk of Alzheimer's. So can poor sleep, and so can a variety of other things like not having a sense of purpose in life and not being able to engage in life socially, as well as having hobbies including learning a new language or playing a musical instrument. 